majority of young people these days get their political news and information over social media. It's very difficult to grow up without developing some political opinion that's been shaped by the content you see from your friends and family over a social network platform. These are the major distributions of political content now. My name is Phil Howard, I teach at Oxford University, and I lead a project on computational propaganda funded by the ERC. My team and I study how politicians manipulate people over the internet, and we specialize in understanding what we call computational propaganda. So the process of using algorithms to deliver messages to large numbers of people over social media. Algorithms, or social media bots, and fake news go hand in hand. They work, they work together. So having a fake news story with facts that are not true or commentary that is presented like news, this kind of content that sits by itself which causes no damage. It's when there's automation and algorithms that distribute it over networks of family and friends that it has a real impact. And there's some serious consequences even outside the realm of politics. The number of people who are not sure about climate change, who think climate change may not be so real, is increasing. The number of people who are not sure that t tobacco causes cancer is increasing. And in part, this is because of very effective social media campaigns that erode the contributions of science. So regardless of what you think about the, the political consequences of fake news, there are some very important public health issues that are being impacted by the combination of fake news and social media. We're a team that combines both computer scientists and social scientists. And in a very important way, this is what the ERC support has made uniquely possible. We have one computer science postdoc, one social science postdoc. We have a team of graduate students drawn from several disciplines. Together, that's what makes this process, this research, um, productive, because it's not enough just to understand the rhetoric or the content or the political economy of this, you must also understand the technicalities of the platform that makes it possible to send so much junk to so many people.